Okay, so um, hopefully this will be the final video in our kind of basic text game in Unity. Uh, kind of intro to uh, Unity um, as well as Mono Develop and kind of how to link those kind of game kind of UI objects to um, code. And so um, if you remember from last video, uh, we set up two different text objects um, or game objects within a canvas in uh, Unity and then what we did is in the code behind in mono develop we had those text objects here that we linked um, just through dragging and linking those UI el elements okay and we put in that code here and then with that on the startup of our game we ran this kind of code here that's within the start uh, and changed those text values to um, first of all welcome to number guesser as the intro text and then as the instructions, uh, that really long string there of instructions, okay, that we added in. Now, uh, the next thing we want to do is actually make our game a little bit functional. And so we need user interaction for a game to actually exist. And so in that case, uh, most of that user interaction is going to be handled within this update um, method here. And so when that update fires, it fires once every frame. And you can see that in the comments here. Update is called once per frame. Uh, we need to test for something. And so we're going to test for um, those things that we asked for in our instructions, which was uh, press up for greater, press down for less, press return for equal. So we need to test for those things. And so let's test for if the up arrow is pushed. So if, um, and then we type in input, it's a keyword there, um, dot get key down. So if we, if, if input get key down, and then we have the value that we're going to actually look for there is a key code and we want I believe it's called up arrow yeah and so you can see that that IntelliSense is kind of helping me complete this so it says key code up arrow is what we want and so and then we need to make sure our brackets match up here uh, and so I have those brackets set and then we should have we want to enclose whatever's happening in this if statement within its own set of brackets as well and so this is our basic if statement and a good idea to do when you kind of get inside a method is tab things into the same level so you can kind of keep your brackets sorted um, and keep things lined up and so you know when brackets are closing off and whatever so we have our if statement here and so if uh, input get key down if that's true okay then it's going to execute this line of code and so um, what we're actually going to have happen there um, is we want to see um, the <coughs> uh, max value or actually if it's greater than so we're saying well what we're doing I'll just put a comment in here if greater than the value that's set to half do this right and so what we want to do is we want to change that minimum value so we're gonna say min equals half because we know now that the minimum possible value um, now would have to equal half, right? So if we press up, we know that now our number is between 500 and 1,000, okay? Our max can stay the same, but now we want to do and kind of split between our new, um, our new minimum, which is 500, and max, and so that's going to be 750. So you got to think about how the heck are we going to calculate 750 out of this? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take our min now, and we're going to say, well, half now needs to equal, equals min plus max, and I better put these in brackets uh, just to do proper order of operations, um, divided by 2. And so that's proper math if I think about that because min has been now changed to 500. Max is 1,000, okay? And so min plus max divided by 2 Okay, would of course equal 750 now. And so that's kind of the, the actual math we need to do. And so from there, we're going to want to display um, some new instructions. So let's now let's put the instruction text instruct.text now should equal. Um, and we want to say. Um, is the number greater or less than 
and in this case uh, we will put another space there um, plus our new half value right so if you think of the logic behind this um, basically we've changed um, that there maybe I should put a question mark as well plus quotation marks question mark and so let's just see if this is, is gonna run for us um, in a second well let's maybe finish some more logic before we go ahead and do that so is the number greater or less than this um, and then we maybe want to put in those instructions um, we'll just copy and paste from up here press up for greater press down for less press uh, return for equal uh, and let's just kind of steal that again uh, there's probably a better way to do this if I kind of save that string value somewhere um, to kind of eliminate some repetitive code there uh, but for now let's just put that in there um, not sure why this is not pasting as well as it should let's just go back and Okay, let's just get rid of that. Actually, this is what we have too much here. Of, oh, what I got there. Oh, I pasted the whole thing. A little too much here. Usually, you wouldn't use this long of a a string. So I just want a question mark there and quotation marks there and I should be sorted out so even though it is quite a long string uh, it serves our purpose for this kind of demo so what it should say instruct text should then say change to is the number greater or less than and then the new value of half there press up for greater press down for less press return for equal and then we should have our text there now before we go a whole bunch further here um, what we can do is we might as well put in um, the the down arrow function as well um, I don't think I'm gonna get through this whole tutorial I don't think in 10 minutes but uh, so we can have here input dot uh, get key down just like we did before and this time we want it to be the key code which is telling me the code for the actual key is should be I think it's just down arrow yeah down arrow and then make sure we close our brackets again and then we want to do this if statement here curly brackets here now um, one thing we're going to kind of do some fairly repetitive code here to what we did above uh, one thing that I want to do right now though I think that I want to change this to uh, an else if and so let's get to that here Go else if and then now we can you know, check for this key down first and then this key down not both at the same time and so that way we don't have these two events firing at the same time and then we'll do another else if below uh, for the return key so um, and then we can do something similar here this time around we gotta think about the logic now is now if it's below we know that max should equal half sometimes the autocorrect in uh, mono develop bugs me a little bit tries to guess too much um, max equals half this time around and then our code from here should be almost the same right should do a we should do a calculation of average here and then put that value in here so um, just kind of as we've learned coding now you guys are becoming um, better any kind of repetitive code like this you probably want to put that into its own kind of function and so I'm gonna cut this out and let's go up here and let's just make a function here um, for I'll put the function actually below this update um, just to kind of be consistent there and let's put a public public method and let's call this uh, I don't know let's just call it public or let's call it void void check and from there um, let's go here and we can open brackets void is the kind of 
is the return type and so that's just telling me that this method is not going to have a return type and then let's put that code in there that we had um, previously and then now all I need to do is, is inside here where I had that code running okay I can just go check now and so we don't and so we're not repeating code okay now I have that that method is called here and I can then again because it's the same have that method called here and then I'm not repeating that code in both places so notice that I have kinda these kinda the start and update together because they're firing start fires on startup update fires after and then I could have methods that I'm going to access with each of those um, and we'll just see if this runs the way it is um, there so let's just do that quickly um, hopefully before their time doesn't run out here guess the number and if I press up is the number greater or less than 750? Press up for greater, press down for less. Is the number less than 625? I'm pressing down. And you can see that those instructions are being updated as I go and that number is changing, so that's working. Okay, let's see. We are